Hi friends and partners. I'm really excited to be coming to you from week seven of summer camp here at New Life Ranch. Right now I'm in the dining hall at Flint Valley with a bunch of our day campers having lunch and we're just so thrilled to have these little kids here at camp and, and campers at both sites uh, doing camp all summer long. Thank you so much again for praying for campers and summer staff each and every week as we go about accomplishing our mission of proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ and equipping believers for ministry. Thank you, we have a lot of campers at both of our campsites, at New Life Ranch Frontier Cove, our junior camp facility, and New Life Ranch Flint Valley, our senior camp facility. Now, please be in prayer about all those campers, those leadership development campers, the day campers that we have at both sites. Uh, some specific things we're praying about uh, at Frontier Cove. We have many campers who we know have not accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. And that's, it's our prayer that they would experience the, the gift of salvation this week as they're at camp. We have some campers who, who have a lot of questions and it's our prayer that uh, our counselors have wisdom and discernment and using God's word to answer those questions. We have a camper that's shared about uh, their parents not wanting to go to church. Please be in prayer that, that this sweet camper would, would themselves have a ride to church each and every week. And ideally that there would be a transformation in their whole family, that, that their parents would want to be at a church. We have campers that uh, clearly have walls built up in their lives because of some sort of traumatic experience they've had. Please be in prayer that those walls would come down this week and that, that God would bring about healing. Uh, we actually had uh, our junior camp have a camper who's fairly uh, outspoken about their disbelief and, and distrust in God. Just pray that God's kindness would bring them to repentance, that the Holy Spirit would invade their hearts and, and life change would occur. Here at Flint Valley, we have a camper who uh, has shared that they've recently lost uh, their father. Their father passed away and understandably, this is, is devastating and, and grieving that loss still. Would ask you to be in prayer that, that God's peace that passes all understanding would be upon their heart and mind in Christ Jesus. That healing and, and comfort and, and God's grace would be abundant. We have some campers that have opened up about some really big things that they're dealing with in their life. Some of it, just some poor decisions they've made. Uh, again, just pray that, uh, that there'd be a change of heart and a direction in life. Again, a lot of campers who have experienced traumatic experiences have felt betrayed and unloved at home. It's our prayer that they would experience the love of Christ and their identity would be found in Christ. And they would have a perspective that God's in control and, and at times He uses hard things in our lives to grow us. Um, we have a cabin that um, is really experiencing a lot of division. And, and this is one that each and every week we have that happen. And it's so cool to see as, as we pray, as we go before the Lord with these things, to see change happen during the course of a week where, where God brings about unity and just a, a biblical community is formed and, and lives are changed. Um, again, here at, at Flint Valley, a camper who is outspokenly in disbelief of God and didn't want to even come to camp, pray that they would have the greatest week of their life as the gospel is proclaimed and, and, and their life is changed as, 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 as God's word invades their heart. Just please, please be in prayer about the health and safety of our, of our staff uh, and campers. Um, we're so thankful that um, since week one and two here at Flint Valley, uh, we've had no positive COVID tests with our summer staff or, or any campers during the week of camp. Please pray that that would finish out week seven here at Flint Valley and, and week seven and week eight next week at Frontier Cove. Just be in prayer about um, our family camp uh, next week. As we finish summer camp here at Flint Valley on Saturday, on Sunday, we start a family camp. Well, about 70 families come into this place. We're so excited to get those families here. Last year, we didn't do family camp because of COVID. And so we're excited to have family camp this summer to be serving those families again. So thank you so much for praying for the ministry of the ranch. Please be in prayer and consider a gift to our Camper Scholarship Fund. Uh, again, as you know, we never want finances to hinder a kid from coming to camp. And we've already given over half a million dollars away in scholarship dollars this year. And we're trusting the Lord to provide those funds. Uh, thank you again so much for partnering with us, being a part of the ministry of New Life Ranch through prayer, being a part of, of changing lives as we go before the Father in prayer for the needs that we have each and every week. We appreciate you. We'll see you. Have a great week. Bye.